sponsored by Bud Light, the perfect beer. For whatever happens, Miranda, four years the elder of Guimarães, and he will have the reach advantage. All right, with the official introductions, once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. Nine wins, one loss, one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Eton Premierum at Felipe Santo, Brazil, Marcelo Guimarães. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, holy professional record. 12 wins, four losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Vitor Lex Luthor Miranda. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Chris Pioli. Chris Tyone, our referee, the beautiful Brittany, Ariani, Chrissy, Vanessa. UFC 196. Miranda and Guimarães. Ready, sir? Ready? Here we go. Fight! Tonight's Fight Clock is sponsored by EA Sports UFC 2, which hits stores on March 15th with more than 250 licensed UFC fighters. Pre-order your copy now at easports.com. Slash UFC. They engage early, Joe. Guimarães wastes no time going for the clinch. He's a very dedicated grappler. And in a, in a lot of ways, this fight is a grappler versus striker matchup. Although both guys have well-rounded skills, Vitor Miranda clearly is stronger in the striking. And more, uh, and excuse me, Guimarães is clearly stronger in the grappling. Vitor Miranda has some outstanding Muay Thai. Excellent power in his kicks and punches. Joe, he competed as a heavyweight on season three of the Ultimate Fighter Brazil. So, you know, he's got that mass and that strength. And if they go toe to toe, a four inch reach advantage as well. And Guimarães has gone down to welterweight, but was way weakened yeah. by the process and felt he could better compete at 185 pounds. But Miranda, very strong, good takedown defense as well as you see here. And his strikes have some real power to them. Guimarães got the legs up in the air though and the hips down. Very nice, but a big scramble. And Miranda on one knee here. Guimarães using a lot of energy to try to bring this fight to the ground. Guimarães, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, now training at American Top Team. Miranda, Muay Thai black belt, brown belt in Jiu-Jitsu at Team Nogueira. Listen, Guimarães does have good striking and Miranda, as you said, brown belt in Jiu-Jitsu, but clearly Guimarães has the advantage on the ground, and Miranda has a big advantage standing. And this is the first UFC fight in 616 days for Guimarães as Chris Tyone puts him back in the center of the octagon. Guimarães just took a big, deep breath. Two minutes into the fight. They're popping that jab. Miranda looking for that switch kick. Ooh, good counter. For many years, Joe, Miranda was considered the best Muay Thai fighter in Brazil. So we know he is dangerous. Good leg kick by Guimarães. He's applying all the pressure here. Nice kick. Well, he definitely wants to close the distance. For sure. He wants to keep this fight in the grappling. Down where he should have an advantage. Quite a wide, nice here. job now looking to put his opponent on his back again. One thing about Guimarães, he has a lot of experience in wrestling as well as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Very decorated grappler all around. His achievements as a grappler basically take up about half the page of his bio. Yeah, he's legit, no doubt about it. Former jungle fight champion. Two minutes. One year, eight months, six days since he defeated Andy Enns in San Antonio. As Joe mentioned, Guimarães at 170 with Hung Yu Lim, but then returned to 185 and earned the split decision win. He's keeping the pressure on Vitor Miranda, but he's got to stay busy here. He can't just hold on to him. 
Good shots by Miranda. Hard shots. Making him pay for the takedown attempt. Well, those are painful. Yeah, Miranda senses it. He senses that Gimaraes might have been hurt by those. Gimaraes now with double underhooks. It looked like Gimaraes might have buckled just for a moment there. Yeah, those hard yeah. elbows off the takedown attempt. There's another hard elbow by Miranda. Under a minute now in round one. Miranda looking to score some more. And right back to the center of the octagon, which Miranda doesn't mind at all. And Guimaraes has been his equal so far in striking. Total strikes. Miranda just missed with the high kick. And there's a beautiful leg kick. Smooth Muay Thai from Vitor Miranda, who had 18 knockouts in his professional kickboxing career. Lead uppercut, and to the body. Miranda with the head kick. And Guimaraes with a good leg kick as well. Duda, Duda, cadeira, cadeira, Duda. Cadeira, cadeira. Cadeira. Claro, tá, senta Come aí. Come on, sit down. Tranquilo. Relax. The defense is working well. Olha só. Now, your jab is coming in, but you got to combine. You hit the hard. You hit the, on his body, but didn't hit his head. Good. Bob breathing. You heard, right? You breathe. FS1 UFC 196 prelims are sponsored by Bud Light, the perfect beer, Second for round, whatever happens. Fight. Round two! Guimard Eyes, fighting and representing American Top Team in South Florida. Miranda Team Nogueira. Strong front kick by Guimard Eyes. Yeah. Constant pressure by Guimard Eyes. And as we said, his stand-up is not bad, Mike. Not at all. Good leg kick there. I mean, he doesn't have the advantage over Vitor Miranda, but he's hanging in with him nice, and it's allowing him to close the distance and do this. Get that clinch and work for it. Same way he got this clinch and potential takedown in the first round, Joe. Those wide punches, he works his way in and looks to perhaps put Miranda on his back here, or at least do some damage here in the clinch. Certainly, it's octagon control. It's it's interesting because he's he's been able to so far negate a lot of the strengths of Vitor Miranda. Oh, Vitor Miranda with the plum. He's got that Muay Thai clinch. Very briefly, these are hard elbows. Now those have been the hard elbows. They're to the side, so they are legal shots. Gimaraes yeah, got he's in trouble big time. He's in trouble. Yeah. Oh, oh he's kick. Look at the finish. Oh, that's it. It is all over. Vitor Miranda. Wow. <laughs> That guy is good. Man. That is the definition, Woo! Joe, of making your opponent pay for takedown attempts. Most certainly. And we saw that he scored with those elbows in the first round, did a lot of damage with them, recognized it, and he felt Gimaraes buckle there in that second round. And man, did he capitalize on those openings. Beautiful combinations, landed that head kick, and took him out. And that was a tough fight. Absolutely. He got tested. Let's take a look at it here. Move it the starts fight, off yeah, with you these. Go ahead. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And you see Gimaraz, his legs buckle. He's trying hard to try to complete this takedown. He gets hit by these left hands. And now on the break, Bow. boom, head kick. Staggers him. Beautiful precision by Vitor Miranda. Just perfect one, two, three punches. Let's see it again. Head kick. Boom. Right to the side of the head. I mean, what is keeping Gimaraes up? One, two, left hand, and Tyone steps in and rescues him. 
Beautiful, beautiful combinations by Vitor Miranda. Of course, our move of the fight sponsored by Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the Blazing Fast 4G LTE T-Mobile Network for just $30, period. And don't forget to tweet and let us know what you think will be the move of the night. Vitor Miranda with his third straight UFC knockout. And he did so in the second round with the heavy, heavy elbows, working the clinch, and then the head kick was the end of the fight. To make it official, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Tyone has called a stop to this contest at one minute, nine seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Vitor Lex Luthor Miranda. I'm here with the winner, Vitor Miranda. Vitor, this was a, an, an excellent opportunity for you to showcase your skills because Gimoraz is such a good grappler. He put a tremendous amount of pressure on you. Did you anticipate that before this fight? Sim, eu treinei muito com meus treinadores, Davi, Vander. Que tag lá no Rio, mestre de van, com todo mundo prevendo é, esse jogo que ele ia vir muito forte no primeiro round. E mas a gente treinou bastante, graças a Deus deu certo. Yes, I trained very hard with my trainers in Brazil, Vander and Ivan. I knew he was going to come out strong in the first round, but that was our strategy and it worked. He put a lot of pressure on you up against the cage, but you were finding the opening for that elbow. Was that something you had trained for? Mm, na verdade não, mas Como eu treinei bastante, eu estava bem consciente, conseguia ver a, a, onde ele deixava as falhas, então eu conseguia aproveitar. A gente não treina cotovelada porque é uma coisa muito traumática para o parceiro, mas uma vez que a gente está dentro do queijo trabalhando, a gente usa tudo que pode. Not really, but since I trained a lot in that situation, when the openings, I saw the openings, I used them. It's hard to train uh, elbows because they're, they're very traumatic in training. Let's take a look at the final combination because it was pinpoint and precise and absolutely beautiful. Once you realized he was hurt, you landed this head kick and this one, two, three combination for the victory. Just a, a beautiful display of accurate striking. É... A gente treinou, é isso, a gente treinou, manter distância, saber o momento certo de atacar, colocando jab, e uma vez que o meu chute chegou, que o chute conectou eu pude ter, terminar a luta. You know, we trained that. I, I trained a lot connecting my jab combination, and I knew when, when my kick came in, it would be over. Congratulations on a very, very impressive performance. Galera, em Joinville, dia 9 de março, 165 anos, Joinville está fazendo de muita cultura, muita beleza e exportando, exportando campeões. Valeu, um beijo a todo mundo. People to, from Joinville, 165 years, everybody going to be there, we're exporting champions. Vitor Miranda, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the man who...